or Greek Catholic Church, is a church of Byzantine tradition in full communion with the Roman Catholic Church. The name Melkite comes from the Hebrew word Melech, which means king. In contrast with the non-Chalcedonian churches, the term was long ago used to designate the churches that followed the doctrine of the Council of Chalcedon in 451, which the emperor supported. The Melkites are thus the Christians of Byzantine rite of the patriarchates of Alexandria in Egypt, Antioch in Syria, and Jerusalem in Palestine. The Patriarchate of Alexandria was considerably reduced to the advantage of the Coptic Church. The Patriarchate of Antioch, however, maintains a significant importance before the Monophysite Syrians. In regard to the Patriarchate of Jerusalem, it is fully Melkite, that is, Chalcedonian. These three patriarchates have lived under Muslim regime since the 7th century. Their liturgy is of the Greek Byzantine rite, but their language and the culture became progressively Arab after Islam's conquest. The rupture between Rome and Constantinople in 1054 affected only indirectly those eastern patriarchates that aligned with the See of Constantinople, even though a formal act declaring the rupture of communion with Rome never took place. However, during the period of the Crusades, relations with the Latin Church were clouded. The first Melkite patriarch in the current precise meaning of the word was Cyril VI Tanas, who was acknowledged by Rome in 1729. The Melkite Church is thus an Eastern Catholic Church, both in communion with Rome and faithful to the traditions of the Orthodox churches, with whom she shares a common history up until the 18th century. Part of the Melkite Church was exiled to Palestine and Egypt, where local communities were established. With the blessing of Pope Clement XIV in 1772, this situation led to the expansion of the jurisdiction of the Patriarchate of Jerusalem. Since 1837, the Melkite Patriarch bears the title of Patriarch of Antioch and all the East of Alexandria and of Jerusalem. In the Holy Land, the Melkite Church is composed of three distinct and independent dioceses. The first is the Melkite Patriarchal Exarchate of Jerusalem, settled in the Old City of Jerusalem near the Jaffa Gate. It numbers 3,500 faithful spread throughout eight parishes in Jerusalem, Bethlehem, and its surroundings, Rafidia, Ramallah, and Taibeh. The diocese runs three schools and five religious and monastic communities. The second diocese is the Melkite Archeparchy of St. John of Acre. Only after 1804 did the first Melkite bishops begin to reside there. The archdiocese is composed of 32 parishes and 12 religious and monastic communities. In addition, a type of halfway house for released detainees was created in 1982. The archdiocese also runs seven schools. It comprises nearly 63,000 faithful, the largest Christian community in Galilee. Finally, there is the Melkite Archeparchy of Petra and Philadelphia, which was founded in 1932 by the Holy Melkite Synod with Rome's approval. The new Petra Philadelphia See is an archdiocese that has jurisdiction over Jordan and its residents in Amman. It has 31,000 faithful in 31 parishes, with six religious communities and ten schools. The Greek Catholic Church in the Holy Land and all the Middle East is a dynamic church, particularly active in the field of ecumenism and dialogue with Muslims. This was something that Pope Benedict XVI wished to underline in his May 8th speech in 2008 at the Vatican to the participants in the Melkite pilgrimage led by His Holiness Gregorios III Laham, Patriarch of Antioch for Melkite Greek Catholics of Syria. I know of the ecumenical activity of the Melkite Catholic Church and of the brotherly relations you have established with your Orthodox brethren, and I am delighted. Indeed, the commitment to the search for the unity of all Christ's disciples is an urgent obligation, which stems from the ardent desire of the Lord himself. 
We must therefore do our utmost to break down the walls of division and distrust that prevent us from achieving it. During this audience, the Pope also said he appreciated the good relations that the Greek Catholic Church has with Muslims, a commitment to promoting and defending together social justice, moral values, peace and freedom for the benefit of all.